All right, what's up everyone? And welcome back to the channel here. My first day, full day in Hanoi, Vietnam. So I haven't had any breakfast. I'm really, really hungry. Uh, but first, before breakfast, I'm gonna get some coffee. Not just any old coffee, it's egg coffee. Here we are, it's called Cafe Zhang, and since 1946, egg coffee breaks. Hello, hello, um, can I get one egg coffee please? The ice, ice. ice. Ah, yeah. Here is the egg, and it's the egg yolk. They just blend up, just look at that, and they whisk it like crazy until it's all frothy and creamy, like this one here. been waiting for this for such a long time I forgot to say as well they um, kind of mix it up with condensed milk yeah so it's egg yolk and condensed milk until it's like seriously seriously frothy you can see the shot of coffee in the bottom there <sighs> I'm supposed to mix it up first but I'm just gonna try the frothy milky egg by itself yes I got with ice oh, look at this look 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 <laughs> So good. Mix it up. And this is definitely one of the best wake up drinks in the entire world. Cheers, guys. Wow, what a great invention. <laughs> buzzing already okay come on thank you you too right so caffeined up egged up condensed milked up I've got loads of energy now so I'm just gonna take a bit of a walk show you around daytime Hanoi what we got here looks like puncha check out those meat sticks snails tofu small snails big snails chili <laughs> Look at this beautiful alleys. Check out this secret garden cafe. The size of that fish. That's just one chunk of it. It's all like caramelized uh, brown sugar, um, pork, fish, prawns. Wow, so much of it. Oh, look at all this. Oh, wow. Oh, spring rolls. Lemzan. Lemzan. Bang chung. Ah, bang chung. It's like a rice, sticky rice, pork filled block of pure delish. Uh, it's usually eaten on Tet, which is the, the new year here, the Lunar New Year. <laughs> Right guys, time for lunch soon and I'm taking you to a bun ka place. It's fish noodles, fried fish with loads of dill, loads of herbs. And they also do these croquette things, um, which are just simply amazing. It is the only place in the world, the only restaurant in the world that, that serve these particular uh, kind of cake things. I can't wait to show you. This place is called bun ka. Sam Kai Si Ching Hyo, I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, these noodles are just something else. They really are. All right, she's starting to prepare them now. There's the noodle. Greens, like a kind of cabbage and bean sprouts. And then goes the fish, got crispy fish and then we fried on there and loads of dill oh, yes. 
Just look at that bowl of chili that's in there right in front of me. <laughs> Thank you. Check out the size of the stall. I'm going to have to try to try and sit down. Let's try. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely know you're in Vietnam again. And you've got to sit on these tiny stalls. Check it out. Look at this bowl. Oh, pure and utter joy. Oh, yeah, and there's pineapple in there as well. Spoon. Let's try the broth first before adding. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Mm. Seriously, guys, everyone, you're coming to Vietnam. You've got to come to this place. It's just hidden down like a tiny little alley. It is a must eat place here in Hanoi. Chili. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my word. Oh yes. One of those garlic. Sliced with a little bit of chili in vinegar. A couple of those. There we go. Khoa, which is um, like a small citrus fruit. Um, they are bloody awesome. Yeah, I think you've got to squeeze a few of those in. Mmm, the smell. Whoa, that's a strong smell coming from that. Delicious. So I'll put four of those in. I think it's definitely needed with this dish from memory. Um, and I'm going to ask for some more chilli as well because that is just not enough. But we also have some more dill, which I can maybe steal from there. Yeah, because the dill is all... Oh, wow, thank you. There we go. Just need that in there as well. Yes, the dill is so important in this dish. Like, yeah, you just need it. Dill and fish, a load of that. Okay, I'm not forgetting anything, am I? Don't think so. Oh no, I have forgotten something. I've forgotten the the, the deep fried croquette things. Hello, can I have um, two high, high uh, croquette? High croquette. I'm not sure what they're called. I'll think for special fried fish rolls. That's what they are on the menu there. Oh, yes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, amazing. And here are the fish croquettes. Let me just show you inside. So it's like rolled fish. And then inside, I think that there is like maybe pork and herbs. And then the beautiful like red crumbs on the outside. Oh, I'm just going to try this first because it's been too long. What the hell? <laughs> Love it. I'm going to stir this up now. Look at the size of this bowl as well. It's humongous. I'm going to be full after this for sure. Now let's try it. Look at the colour of that, the transformation of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> the spicy. Let's try a bit of this fish. Look at it, you can see the crispy skin on there. I think that is just a piece of skin that's been deep fried and it's all just naturally rolled up in the oil. Yep. Let's get some of that pineapple. Chili, uh, green and orange. All the herbs in there. Mm, and the spring onion as well. Oh my god. I think there was like a hidden piece of jelly under there. It's just an explosion of like, heat straight away. And try the boon. Boon is a really popular noodle here in Vietnam. So many different uh, dishes like used boon. Um, boon bao khue, boon kha, boon cha. Um, so many. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> Look at that. I think this is just like a really very thin slice of fish and then they've lightly battered it as well, deep fried it. Oh, I've still got a crisp to it, crispiness, sorry. And this vegetable, I'm not actually sure what the name of it is. It sort of looks like um, a morning glory a little bit, but it's not hollow. Or maybe, yeah, not as hollow as morning glory. 
Not a really, really good flavour. This place is, is a real hidden gem. Yeah, I'm smack bang in the middle of the old quarter, yeah, the main tourist area here in Hanoi. But very, very rarely did I see tourists here um, when I lived here a few years ago. And now, yeah, look, it's just these, these three little tables. Let's get another chunk of that crispy, uh, crispy skin, bad skin, yum. Oh. <laughs> I'm giving this um, sweet chili dipping sauce for the croquettes. Complete one bite of either. Genius. Absolutely genius. Yeah, so I've eaten all of the noodle in there and you can really just see how much is going on here. All of that dill, all of the herbs, the spices, the chili, the garlic, the oily broth. It's amazing guys. Oh my but Jesus. <coughs> spicy. Strong spicy. <sighs> Absolutely full of flavour though. I'm taking my breath away. It's so strong with these herbs and the spice. Okay, come on. Come on, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those vlogs where I'm just kind of walking around and I'll see whatever I see. I don't think I've seen this dish before. This is a pho sao ap chow. Chow is like a uh, rice porridge though. Another, hello. Hi. Hiya. Yeah, it's like a, it's not like a soup, it's like the beef and noodle comes together. Hello. <laughs> You're really busy. I might have to try this out someday. It looks like it's really, really good. Okay. We are on uh, Duong Tang Street and back, back down. There's loads going on here. Restaurants, I think they're like beer hoi places. See jugs of uh, the local Hanoi beer. But it's too early for that. <laughs> I don't want to start drinking now. It's about half dead in the morning. Look at it. And all the locals out. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this vibe. I love it so much. <laughs> Day drinking is just acceptable here. Yeah, morning drinking in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, but more Hanoi. I'm gonna cross and I'm gonna check out this alley down here because alleys are always the best places to go in cities like this. Uh, sugar cane, oh, must be sugar cane season. I've seen that around a lot. Hello, hello. <laughs> and I'm really, really full, but I don't know. Can you see that? <laughs> you can see the smoke coming from some sort of barbecue, and I can smell it. From a good few meters back there, I wonder what they're cooking. Oh. It looks like buncha. Ah, buncha. Yeah, buncha, buncha, buncha. Look at the sizzle on that fat! Oh my god, look at it! Wow! <laughs> That's awesome! Hello. Oh, gonna have to eat here sometime. Maybe for lunch in about 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, so that's going under the train track. It looks like there's another alley around there. More of like a street here. Let's check out this alley. Wow, where's this guy? Maybe it goes up to the train tracks. Only one way to find out. Might just be like a little train station. Yeah, it is. It is a train station. Wow. No train though. I really want to walk through there over the bridge, but it's probably not a good idea. The train is probably the width of the bridge. You can go down this side, exit to Chanya Zwat Street. Oh no, padlock. Yeah. 
Well, it's not padlock, but that is really stiff. I don't think that's been open for a while. Okay, let's head back over. What is this little cafe here? Jeep coffee. Hello. How are you? I'm quite calm. Teet. I'm Teet. Oh, that he is Teet. Yeah, <laughs> that's his coffee. Dinosaur. Hello, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are uh, you today? I'm Dan. Uh, where are you from? England. I'm Joe Shaw. Nickname. Joe. 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 Nice yeah. to meet you, Joe. Nice to meet you. Where, where, where do you go, go I'm, travel? I'm just walking come around. Come oh, thank you. Okay. You want, you want <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait, wait. I'm oh. actually falling. <laughs> I flip flop on that flick. Okay. Very hot. On yeah, outside. it's you getting hot green? now, right? Um, yeah, maybe. What do you mm -hmm. do? Just an ice, uh, like uh, we lemon? Have a, uh, ice we have, have a lemon and uh, uh, orange, uh, mango, so many. Okay, so, so many lots of fruits, yeah. Apple. Can I have like. Um, Chang, Chang, lemon, Chang, lemon, 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 ice lemon, lemon with sugar. No, no sugar. Uh, lemon with uh, sauce. Just, just uh, lemon, water, ice. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Uh, nook Chang da, right? Nook Chang da. Nook Chang da. Oh, that's right. Okay, thank I, you. I give you a. Uh, oh, definitely, I need this hydration. Um, yeah. Here's my iced lemon tea chang drink no not tea uh, it looks really really good and i'm desperate need of this <sighs> wow <laughs> seriously damn refreshing i asked for it with no sugar as well so it's just a uh, sour um, and icy it's delicious love this drink Oh, wow. So that uh, lemon drink was uh, Hai Mui Ni 20,000 Dong. It's uh, about 50p, 75 cents. So cheap. Okay, come here. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Bye 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 bye. Right, on to the next random place. And from memory, I think that there is actually a fresh food market down here. So I'm gonna go down here and, oh uh, yeah, it's kind of starting here. But loads of like dried fish and squids, tiny, tiny prawns, dried prawn heads. That's it, just dried prawn heads. I think this is called a uh, Buddha fruit or, or like uh, Buddha hand fruit. I, uh, I can't remember the exact name in Vietnamese, uh, but yeah, they put it on like the altars on the new year here. Beautiful fruit. But I'm not sure if it's eaten or not. I think it is just for decoration for the altars. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right, let's have a look in here. Oh, the oysters, octopus, clams. Wow, look at the size of those shrimp, prawns, lobster at the back, and crabs. There's some, I think they're terrapins in there. Huge catfish. Eels, baby birds, and budgies. Hello. Dried mushrooms and fungus and stuff there. More squid, more prawn heads. Giant bat pigeon. Wow. What's this lady selling here? I wonder. Let's have a quick look. Oh wow. I'm not sure what this is. Does anyone know what this is? Uh, oh, it's a little fried uh, fish, egg, the morning glory, and they're just like picking it themselves, they're, you know, they're just like helping themselves. This is what Vietnam is about. This is what I love. Places like this. I think we want to go out this way, I, I think. I, I'm not sure, I'm a little bit lost now. Nguyen Tien Thuat. Oh, we've got all those, oh no, it's uh, bamboo, I think. Dried bamboo, I thought it was squid at first. Sliced dried shallots, mushrooms, noodles. Look at that lemongrass. Oh, and the quack. Passion fruits, different kinds of limes. Peeled garlic, big peeled garlic, chilies, 
look at those red chilies. Oh my word. Look at that. Oh, Michelle. Oh, this is so much. Ginger. Look at this. That is just beautiful. It's like a post. Hello. Like a postcard picture. <laughs> Whoa, that's bright, that sun. So I'm going to end the vlog here now, I think. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to leave that bun cha that we saw a few minutes ago under the train track bridge for the next episode. So whatever you do, stay tuned. You're going to want to watch me eating that, smashing that, devouring that awesome dish. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Come with me on my journey in Vietnam. Okay, everybody, have an awesome week and see you soon. Peace out.